I beg your pardon. Sorry. Uh, but they, um, yeah. Why did they do it? Risk their lives, their health, and leave their wives and their families behind. Was it the money? The adventure? The chance to travel to exotic new worlds? Take Ernie Kells, for instance. Ernie Kells started his career working on Lambton oil rigs at the age of 17. He moved on to New Brunswick and Quebec projects, but there was little oil to be found there. By the age of 20, he found himself in Persia, in Mesopotamia. There wasn't much to do in the desert but work, sleep, and read. From one of many of Ernie's letters. You worked about ten hours a day and six days a week. I was young. I had good health. You get malaria fever occasionally, but you'd get over that. Every few years you'd get an outbreak of cholera and that would kill a pile of the native people. There was a bit of bubonic plague, but not much. Cholera was the worst. If the disease didn't get you, then there might have been the snipers taking shots at drillers, or a knife slitting your throat in the night. But for those who survived the dangers and illness, there was a small fortune to be made. In the 1920s, Ernie was earning $312 a month. A small fortune in those days. Kells returned to Petroleum in 1932, married a schoolteacher, and bought an oil field of his own. <laughs>